All right, we gotta talk about this. I used to cover the 4090 burning connector stuff way back when it first started. Look at this. We are now at a point where this is like, this is fire. So these are 5090s, by the way. So this is a 5090 burning its cable to a literal crisp. This is a fire. You can even see right here that the, uh, the burn took out the AIO. <laughs> like this is fire right here. Look at how crispy and crazy that is. All the plastics melted. This is bad. Like at, at some point, they there needs to be a class action lawsuit that goes after this company for this connector. This connector is not working well anymore or, or ever to begin with. And I think any engineer sitting there knows this at this point. And oh, you can say user error all you want. Sure, some instances, they may be user error if you don't plug them in all the way. But look at this. Let's go over to the Sapphire. Another instance, these are cards that are lower power draw and they have the blue on them. So you, you know that you're, you're plugging the cable in all the way. They're burning on these lower power draw cards. So you, we can't even say it's just like an Nvidia thing anymore because it's happening on AMD as well. So I keep seeing these, I see them every couple of weeks and you know, sometimes like it's pretty obvious that the person like maybe had it halfway hanging out. Uh, there's a lot of repair channels that I watch like Northwest repair, sometimes North Ridge repair, and they'll, they'll show you, you can see the, the actual connector is slightly hanging out of the card. This is not like that. These are people who plug them in correctly and they just literally go up on fire. And even if you did plug this in incorrectly, this should not be the outcome. <laughs> like, Something this insane should never be the outcome. Man, I don't know what to say. So this is from the Redditor himself stating that he had been using this card for nine months. So that's an insane amount of time for it to randomly go wrong. On Christmas Eve, his GPU suddenly decided to die. From the looks of it, it appeared that the connector did not just burn and turn into ashes, but it also took down the GPU connector by melting it horribly. A few inches from the cable have been burnt quite badly as well. However, this raises seriously serious safety concerns as electronic components are not expected to produce open flames under any certified operating conditions. Yeah, it's just like, this is just a wild situation here. Um, it continues down on the bottom and it says the user also clarified that he owned an ATX 3.1 compliant PSU, a power spec 1050 GFM, and it used a native 12 volt by 2x6 power cable that came with it. So we aren't seeing usage of the 16 pin adapters that MSI ships with the GPUs. From the pics, we can see that there doesn't appear to be any sharp bends near the connector, but it isn't clear whether the user took the pics after removing the GPU from the motherboard or if it was installed vertically as it appears. So yeah, what they're saying is that like, if you look at the pictures, it kind of looks like up here that it's a vertical um, setup, but it could actually, you know what? This is a, this is a Y70 and this is a vertical setup. So you can see down here that weird pattern that height has. So this is definitely Y70. So it's definitely a vertical setup and you can see it kind of, this, this is not a bad cable. That's not a bad bend. Um, so yeah, that shouldn't have happened. Can we talk about power spec being a questionable brand? I mean, power spec is manufactured by OEMs. Uh, we can see who makes it. Let's look really quick. You guys can research this a little bit better if you want, but it seems like high power C Sonic and some of other, some of the other OEM brands make their power supplies. So the article goes on to say maybe the cable wasn't that good at all. And it clearly left burn marks on the AIO tubing as well. The user says that he didn't try to remove the cable from the GPU connector, which most likely won't come out anyway. He is going to try his luck by visiting Micro Center where he bought this PC. The good thing is that the other parts are apparently unaffected, including the PSU. I would say that this AIO has to be replaced. So something is definitely affected and I would probably at this point replace that power supply. I'm also getting a little chuckle at the comments considering we just jumped over to the uh, 9070 XT thing and the first, connect the first comment is where are the NVIDIA fanboys now? Guys, this is just a, a thing that's happening um, on any 12 volt related, 12 volt high power connector related device. So if Nvidia uses it, if AMD uses it, if Intel uses it, it's just gonna keep happening. It's not really a brand thing as much, I don't think. Um, Nvidia and Intel did design it with the company PCIe SIG. 
So it is partially their fault. I wouldn't say it's AMD's fault, but why is some of the Sapphire cards using it? I don't know. Yeah, you got this guy right here and it says even a $500 16, obviously it's Euro, 500 Euro, 1,650 watt PSU won't save you. It will eventually mount. And you can see here, he has 103C on the cable. And yeah, depending on, on the bend and some of the cables, if they're in incorrectly, they do get that crazy. And I've seen it myself firsthand a few times now. Anyways, guys, I just, I had to upload that really quick. I don't usually cover new stuff too much anymore because it's just not my thing. I've been doing PC fixes. So um, I got another one coming up soon. So stay tuned for another boot or blue screen episode. And that's going to do it for this video. Let me know what you guys think down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.